Do you ever find yourself struggling to come up with ideas for your eye stories? Well, don't look any further, I've got you covered. So the first thing that we usually tend to do is to head over to ChatGPT and just ask it to generate a science fiction story or any other type of story and leave it all up to it to do the heavy lifting. However, this is a newbie mistake that I even did myself in the beginning. What you will need to do here is to be more specific and always go back and forth with ChatGPT to fine tune your story. So the first and overlooked method is simply imagination. Use what you see daily as a source of inspiration like TV programs, social media, or anything in your real world and simply ask ChatGPT to create a story around your idea. Now, if you're not too much of a visual person, we are going to move on to method number two. Asking ChatGPT for story prompt ideas. So for this method, I will be comparing both GPT-4 and 3.5 which is the default version that we all have in the free version, to see if there is a big difference in the quality of stories that will be created. So once you select your model, here GPT-4, the first part of this method is to ask it to create, for example, three unique and one-of-a-kind adventure story prompt ideas. I chose adventure, but it could be any genre of your choice, like thriller or science fiction, etc. And just like that, we now have three story prompt ideas we can ask ChatGPT to expand on. If you want more ideas, simply ask for them. Let's do three more. And as you can see, we now have six story prompt ideas. Now let's compare it to GPT 3.5. These were generated quite quickly, but while some would be happy with the results, these ideas feel like already known movies, but I guess it's better than nothing. Now, for the second part of this method, we are simply going to paste this prompt. What would be the best prompt you can recommend me to use with you to generate the best story ideas? So, here's what we get with GPT-4. A short and quick answer. So now let's head over to the default model and paste the same prompt here. And this is the result. As you can see, the default GPT is giving a different and more detailed answer. So here we have a what if scenario. Ask me a what if question, and I'll give you a story idea based on that premise. For example, what if humans could fly? Then we have a gender-based prompt. Tell me the genre you're interested in, and I'll give you a story idea in this genre. For example, can you give me a horror story idea? Then we have a character-based prompt, and I'm not going to read all of it. You can pause the video and have a look. But overall, this simple prompt could already be a good starting point to generate good story ideas, and then it's all about going back and forth with ChatGPT, as I mentioned earlier. Now, the third method is what I call OPI, for other people's ideas. And no, we aren't going to steal other people's ideas. We're simply going to use the story ideas already out there given to us to use. This is an alternative to the first part of method number two. The difference here is that instead of asking ChatGPT to generate story prompt ideas, we will use the one already available online. So let's head over to Google or DuckDuckGo and write story ideas. As you can see, there are many websites available to inspire us and use, so the sky is the limit. Let's choose this website. And let's read this. Since I have more story ideas that I can possibly explore in a lifetime, please allow me to offer some to you in this post. Pick the ideas that excite you the most and you'll find that its momentum will conjure up a whole new story world, replete with fascinating new characters. Then if we scroll, we can access here a tool to create our own starting prompt. And here below the first story that we're given is about a character with an addiction who discovers that there's someone else's addiction. Then a historical character who travels to the present day and causes chaos when they steal back something that originally belonged to them. The third story is about an alien species that lands on Earth, but is only detectable through literature. As you can see, we have many different stories that you can now import into ChatGPT and expand on or even combine with method number two. Here again, we have a story about a spirit animal quest to choose their human. That could be a good adventure story. But let's take for example this one. 
a knight who spent five years trying to break a spell cast on him by a witch only to slowly fall in love with her. So we're going to copy this story and just paste it in chat GPT. As I mentioned in the beginning, we are gonna compare it with the default GPT 3.5 and GPT 4. So let's paste it here with GPT 4 and add to the beginning. Write a story about a knight who spent five years trying to break a spell cast on him by a witch only to slowly fall in love with her. Now let's wait and we will come back to it in a moment. Okay, so while generating the story, this error came up. Probably because it was quite a long story, but no panic. What you only have to do is just copy the full story that was already generated and then paste it back into GPT-4 and just ask it to finish the story. And as you can see, it just picked up from where it left off. Now I'm not going to read the full story here. You can simply pause the video if you want to read it, but it gave us a very quite detailed story. And from here, you would have to just go back in and check if there are a few details that you want to remove or add to improve the story. Now another thing that you can do here, once you are happy with the final version, is to just ask ChatGPT to rewrite the story with a curious tone or any different tone and style of your choice that suits your story. Or you could ask it right in the beginning before generating the story. So in our example, it would look something like this. Write a story about a knight who spent five years trying to break a spell cast on him by a witch only to slowly fall in love with her in an inspirational tone and narrative style. For a full list of tones and styles, simply ask ChatGPT to generate one for you. Then combine one from each list, or you can also use existing plugins out there that can do this for you quickly. Finally, you could also write directly in Google your general plus story ideas, like for example, thriller story ideas or adventure story ideas, and so on. Now let's get back to our story and try the default GPT 3.5. As you can see, the story is already much shorter. The characters in this version are different and not mentioned as much. Everything is more summarized, so you will have to go in and manually ask ChatGPT to expand where you choose to with characters and other different settings. Once again, I'm not going to read this new story, but the difference between GPT 4 and GPT 3.5 is clearly visible, and GPT-4 seems to be a better model to generate good and detailed stories. Now our last and final method is what I call movie stacking, which consists in blending existing movies to create a new and unique story. So for that, we're going to use this prompt. Create a completely new and unique movie with new characters based on a mashup of, and here insert movie number one and movie number two. So here let's try Fast and Furious and The Matrix. Never mention the movies used. Be as creative as possible. We shouldn't be able to recognize which movies were used. Now, as you can see, we got quite a detailed and brand new story. We got the title, the synopsis, and the main characters described. Then we also have the plot and a short conclusion. So now all you have to do is to ask to expand or shorten parts of the story until you are happy, and that would already be a good starting point. If you now use the same prompt on the default model, what we get is much shorter and lacks depth, and the rules were somehow ignored since Neo is mentioned a few times. It's quite poor actually. So this is quite the recurring theme we have when using the default model GPT 3.5. The stories generated are very slim, so you will have to often ask it to expand on those stories. And now a bonus method is to head over to the YouTube channel called All About AI. Chris, the owner, has a few videos where he demonstrates how with his Python script, he's able to generate stories almost fully automated. This is very handy if you want to generate stories and scenes ready to go in mid-journey quickly. Just paste your story idea using the method discussed in this tutorial into the Python script and let it do the rest for you. There's a bit of a learning curve at first, but you will learn a lot. Plus, he also has a great community in his Discord. So if you just want to generate quicker stories, I would recommend checking him out. However, if you want to have more control and use your creativity, then apply the method mentioned earlier. Just make sure to go back and forth to polish your stories. So this is all for today's tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next video.